Hello, and I'm going to teach you how to make a first-person shooter with Scratch. So, first of all, you got to start from scratch. I messed up on something. This is my very first one, so I'm going to show you the basics. So, first off, you want to, if you have not already, go to my first Scratch tutorial, like Scratch Basics or something it's called. Um, so, yeah. So let's go here. So you want to make a couple of sprites. Um, so you press that button, you know, make a generic crosshair. Please make it pretty nice. It looks so it looks kind of like this. Where did not like this? This is what not to do. Cause just yeah. <laughs> so let me delete that. So you want a another sprite, you can draw it. I would suggest going into the sprite folder and picking some sort of bad character. Um, I picked this devil because I'm Lucifer to be. Um, so yeah, and a crosshair. So now that you got that done, you're gonna wanna know how to make this move, okay? how to move around when you start the game. So you go mouter m uh, Now, when the game starts forever, go to mouse pointer. Um so when the game starts forever go to and then you want to click mouse pointer. So I'm going to delete that because I already have that. Um, of this. So we'll test that out. We'll, yeah. So you can see the mouse moves. Nice. So I'll, I'll get into why it's changing and everything in a minute. So, good. Um, so... When I forgot to add something. This is my first one, so... I mean, I made other ones, but... You know. Switch to costume 1. There you go. When the game starts, switch to costume 1. Want to do that, too? So... Or whatever costume is this. So... We got the moving around part, and... So far. That... Now you want to say when the game starts forever if and press down wait that's in sensing there you go press down um and then you can have it play a sound switch to costume 2 wait a couple seconds and it's back to costume 1 hopefully i'm not going too quick with this Oh, we'll delete that. And, yeah, so whenever you click, it makes a sound and it changes to costume 2 really quickly. It uh, changes back. So, now we want to make him move. We want him to move randomly, which, as you probably saw, he was doing. So you want, when the game starts, you want forever want him to move and since these green things are rounded you can fit it into there you find them in operations pick random and then you type up numbers I suggest either like 20 through um, 50 uh, that would help and then this would be pick random you know point in direction random uh, negative 1 80 through 180 because that's every single movement so he doesn't end up just going up or just going to the side um wait a couple seconds um until he does it again so he doesn't go da, 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 you know um <laughs> and if on edge bounce that means if he's on the side he'll just kind of stick there and bounce around if you don't do that, he'll just go off the page and never come back, and then you have to make a new sprite or delete him or, you know, 
so you don't want that trouble and when he is clicked when sprite 2 is clicked or whatever sprite your name is um you want to go to variable and we'll make you go to make a variable and type up kills or score okay I'll, I'll do a new one kills okay you want to set score to zero or set kills or score whatever I didn't do that one either I'm sorry <laughs> and so maybe I should do that when it is clicked change score by one and this part is all optional you don't have to do so I'll show you that gameplay whenever you click on them changes the score up there um well and let me stop this you can move these around I just put it up there it just helps me um now this, it could be, you can attach it, make it, you know, switch to costume one or whatever it says. Make whatever sound you want. This one is called Baby Cry. Wait a couple, oh, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having technical difficulties. Switch to costume, or no, costume two, whatever sound you want wait how many seconds you want and then switch back to the costume it originally started so now I click on him he blows up and he starts crying so hopefully this was pretty quick um like favorite and subscribe subscribe gun um <laughs> and this this should help you I guess um if you're having you know some fascination with first person shooters and f you know I was about to say fraps. I'm I'm so confused. Um and scratch scratch is great for stuff. Um if you're a programmer I wouldn't really suggest this, but it, it hey, you know, this could be a start so you kinda understand the mental process of it. That every single little thing needs to be programmed. There can't can't be um one thing out of order or it doesn't work um that's kind of the bad thing about programming that it can't fix it for you you have to fix it so like favorite and subscribe and i'll see you guys later let me shut off my hypercam 3 hit the like bye bye